Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong, and I wanted to show you something that I have. These are just hundreds of paper labels that were on vintage spools. These were the little bobbin sized spools of thread. And if you've worked with vintage thread at all, you know that even though it's lovely and the packaging is lovely, it ages and it breaks really easily. And I didn't want to throw out just the whole bag. They were so pretty, but the, the threads really could not be used for sewing. So what I did was take the time to pull all the labels off the little spools and put them in this box. And I've been thinking about what I could do with them and I want to share a craft idea for these little things. And I'm going to be listing some packages of buttons in my shop. And I'm gonna include some of these with every order so that you can do your own craft ideas with these little things. They're adorable. The writing is old, the paper is old. Even the ones that just have a little bit of lettering on them are just so neat and unusual. And they're, they've got enough thickness to them that you can really use them for things. They would be pretty in collage or just a number of things. But for now, I'm going to share what I came up with for these. I have been really wanting to make some layered tags for embellishments in my journals. So I thought I would do a few that I have an idea for. And first of all, I cut out some heavy, this is from a file folder, and I cut it kind of the size I wanted to, which is about three inches by four and a half inches, I think. To make my corners, I cut this corner off of a little piece of paper, and I'm gonna use it as a guide so that my corners are even. I don't have a corner punch, so this is kind of an easy way to cheat. And I'll just cut that side, and then I may just lay both of them down here. You just got to get the corner right. And this side. And while it may not be perfect, it looks very even. When I try to do this just by sight, I never ever get it right. And that was a poem. I've been doing a lot of listings. I'm cleaning up my supplies, my stash, and trying to move some things. But I had to take a break and do something creative. I'm sure everyone knows how that feels when you get to the point where you just cannot do anymore. So my sweet friend Ava sent me a beautiful happy mail package, which you might have seen. And some of the things in there were these beautiful, beautiful napkins. So I am going to put these to use today. And first also let me share something that I've been inspired by. I found this book recently. It's a used book. I'm not even sure the year that this was published. It's called Let's Play Tag. And I think I paid about a dollar for it. And I thought, well, it's, it'll just be something fun to flip through and get some inspiration. And this is the tag, and simply just because of the torn paper. That's, that just kind of is what I want to focus on today, and then embellishing beyond that. Now that we have some tags cut out, I'm going to cut out a little bit of this napkin or maybe tear a piece or two, and Ava, thank you so much again for this. I just, I love this so much. So first I'm going to cut one, just one of these out. So what I want to do is tear out a piece of this, and then I realize this might be two layers, so I'm going to um, maybe have to separate those layers. But let's do a piece big enough to kind of fill, fill the card out, and I'll tear right across here. Yay, okay. And then let me get my brush. I'm using Mod Podge, the matte finish. I love Mod Podge. It has, uh, it's always been one of my favorite things. I've used it for a long, long time when my children were young and 
to do decoupage crafting with things that I used to make. We used it a lot in homeschooling to make collage pages and the kids would do their projects. So that's one of my favorites. One thing I want to do also is kind of um, distress the edges a little bit and maybe even get in on the card a little bit. And I might just do a little bit on the edge on the back because the back can be used for writing on once you get it in your journal. And we may add some more to that, but for now, I think that is really good. It is so nice to take a break and do something creative when you've been working, working, working. And those of us who have shops and we list constantly, you know what I mean. The next thing that I want to use is some really nice cream color paper that I have. And I might leave that, maybe leave a straight. You know, I kind of like, um, saw something recently. I thought it was in this tag book, but then when I glanced back through, I didn't really see it. So I'll have to see if I can find it so I can share that. But I saw something recently where there was a diagonal layer, and I, I really, really like the way that it looked. So I am going to attach this. But let me think about this because I know I'm going to go ahead. Another one of my favorites is tacky glue. I love it. I'm just, it's probably my favorite glue. I use it for everything all the time. Okay, so I'll put this here. And this little black pencil is perfect. And I need my straight edge. And I better plug up my glue gun. Let me get him down here. This is why I'm listing. I can't move. There's so many things in this room. This napkin makes this so beautiful. The napkin makes all the difference on this card. I wanted to, you know, get rid of the thread, but keep these beautiful little bobbin covers. And to me, they kind of reminded me of flowers. So I thought, oh, it would be so neat to do some tags with these. So I'm going to just kind of place these where I think they would be cute. And I'm going to draw a line for the stem. So I'm going to use this heavy writing pencil. It's like a charcoal pencil, I think. And we'll do one here. And then I might do a few little um, leaves. And we may go back and do something else to this to give that some more uh, some more depth. But for right now, that is all that I'm looking for. So I'm going to put a pretty good ring of glue in here to make sure it holds because these little bobbin covers kind of have a, a well. Some they've got some some depth here on this side that. It's going to fill up with glue. But I'm going to put that one down there. Okay, and then the next thing that I wanted to do, I have some embroidery thread. I read this large needle. I think I'm going to use, um, I think it's Lindsay Zenor who does this, where she, she doesn't really sew the button on, and I don't really want the thread to show through on the back of the card anyway. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this thread through and I'm going to tie it on the back in a knot. Then I'm going to cut that.
And then I'm going to glue that button into the center of the little bobbin cover. Good grief. Could we drop some things today? So that can go right there. Ooh, that's adorable. Adorable. I like it. And then let me take a second button. I don't know if I like the dark blue or the light. Everybody's probably saying, use that one, use that one. And I'll probably pick the wrong one. I kind of like the dark one. So I just need to decide how I want to darken this. You know, I love my... um acrylic paints. Do I dare try to add acrylic paint at this point? I might. I might just do it because get my little tiny paintbrush. Actually, that's not the littlest paintbrush. Where's my tiny, tiny, tiny paintbrush? Here it is. So sometimes also a little bit of water is helpful. So let's just go along that stem and right around the shape of the leaf. Now I want to um, so I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of green in here. Something that I like to do and, you know, do everything at your own risk not wanting to tell anybody. I have one of these pads that's older. This is it. And I love to have kind of a semi-wet brush and run it across the ink pad. I love the look that gives. It kind of ages without being too, too thick. But again, I mean, you don't want to just saturate your ink pad but you can see the way it brings the edges of the napkin out. And I'm going to go get really close to the leaves and the flowers. But I'm not going to get on top of those vintage. Even if, see, the stems are running a little bit. That's okay. So there, look at that. That's kind of pretty. Or at least I like it. So the last thing I'm going to do is punch a hole and put a grommet. So there is tag number one, and you can see that it did not take very long. It turned out really pretty. It's a nice creative break, and I think we all need that sometimes. I might just add a little bit of the, oops. Yeah, I don't wanna destroy my ink pad. Of course, this is the old one. I did buy a brand new one. I know I've been threatening to get a new one. So yeah, I like that. I like the color that gives that. Let's do another one. That one's pretty. And since the buttons are kind of blue-green, that'll be really nice. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna cut just a quarter of this napkin out. So let's tear out a piece again that is, that's gonna fill out this card pretty nicely. Oh, I almost dipped it in my coffee. That would be horrible. I love coffee. I'm out of decaf. I, I can't tolerate caffeine the way I used to could tolerate it. I used to be able to drink it all day, and it didn't bother me. But ever since I developed um, Hashimoto's, which is the autoimmune thyroid thing, I just can't. I can't tolerate it. I get really nervous, and sometimes I have, well, I started having palpitations after I got the thyroid disease, and they've gotten better, but I, I can really bring them out if I drink too much caffeine. So I drink caffeinated coffee the first part of the morning, first part of the day, and then I switch to decaf. But I'm out right now, so I haven't been drinking as much coffee. I'm just on my second cup for the whole day. So on this one, I very much liked what we did last time. If we have another piece that we can kind of layer diagonally, or as Harry Potter said, di diagonally. <laughs> Who's a Harry Potter fan? Oh my gosh, I love, love, love the Harry Potter books and movies. There is, um, 
Wait, let me look at something real quickly. That's kind of neat. You know what? Maybe we will um, stamp her image on there. And you know what? So for this, I want to leave definitely some space for a stamp to show up. So I don't want to age everything. But I still do really like distressing the edges. So I like that. And then let's um, get any excess water off of there. Put that right there. We'll see if this works. It might and it might not. And then here's the big dilemma. Do I use more of my... Yeah, I'm going to use the new Distress Ink. It's the same color. And it's been doing okay. I know I could choose a darker ink. I don't really want black on this. I love to use browns. Sometimes I use black. But, so let's put her kind of down here where her face is going to be on the white part. Hopefully. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we, we can add some more, definitely. Now I want to give her a... Um, we do like a fancy hat a little piece of eyelash trim would be like a feather and of course here's this gorgeous gorgeous eyelash trim that Ava sent to me as well so I'm going to cut one tiny piece of that and I just wonder if we could do it in a way that would be like and I think that's going to mean just putting the bottom part of it under this Coates and Clark cover. Okay, so let's put some hot glue on here. Oh gosh. Put that up there. And we got to somehow get this underneath. Okay, I think it worked. Oh yeah, we need something bright. And what do I have? I recently, uh, let me show you guys a treasure I found recently. I'll go ahead and share it. So I found this case, this travel case, um, with buttons. All sorts of um, mother of pearl and all of these vintage gold buttons and things. So let's see what it would be like to have a gold button. That one's kind of thick. I wonder if there's anything that's thinner. Or maybe a... Let's just see. Oh, there's a little one. I don't want to get it in that black paint though, that's for sure. Just pull this out while we're here. Okay, now, let's see what it would look like to have. Ooh, that's good. I like the gold button. So I need to put the thread through as we did before. So let's pull these threads back. Put that right there. I like that. Looks like she has a hat. But now, do I want to add a little bit more very, very faint? Well, I said faint, but that's not faint, is it? It's actually pretty dark. And then maybe around just the very edge on this one. We'll distress the very, very edge. And then go to the back. Maybe do the whole thing like before. OK. 
Okay, so there's another one to dry. I like these. Let's look at another napkin that Ava put in this box. Here, look at this. You know how we all love our birds. Mm. This might be too much distress ink for your taste. You don't have to use this much. And again, I am experimenting. I just want to see what I like and what I don't like. And what works and what doesn't. And that is one of the things that art is all about. Is not being afraid to express what you feel like you want to do. And then if it doesn't work, it's not, it's never a loss. I mean, I guess if you spend a thousand dollars on a canvas and throw it in the trash can, that's a loss. But what I mean is that as long as you're learning, that's not a loss in my opinion. Where is my stamp that says birds? Stamp birds right there. And you know what? Okay, so let's see, let's just see if I put this right here, I better put some glue on it because I'm not sure the grommet is going to be enough to hold it down. And then let's do, is that right in the middle? <laughs> yep, so let's do that in the middle. Let's put one on the back as well. I do have my grommets out. I think I have a blue one. I wonder how that would look. Pretty? Ooh. Like, I like it. Oops. At that point, I stopped recording just the process of making the tags. I didn't want the video to get too long, and I think you see the idea. Three of these tags used the vintage spool covers, which I'm really thrilled about. I think they turned out beautifully, and I will be listing some of these in the shop. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Bye.